Hey, good morning, it's Grant. Today we're at the Bell Floor Condos and we're gonna take a quick tour, show you what the neighborhood looks like so you can decide for yourself whether or not this is a place that you might like to consider for your next home. So let's go on the tour and you can take a look. So here's the community. It's right off Santa Margarita Parkway, which is a pretty busy four lane road. So you wanna stay away from the condos that back up to the uh, Santa Margarita Parkway because of the road noise and pollution. So here's the community. This is the entrance. And we have a special treat today. We're actually gonna take a look at the inside of one of these. And the one we're gonna look at is 22 Leon Liado, right over here. So this is what the uh, community looks like. So your uh, garages are underneath. So it looks like there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve units per building. So pretty good size complex. Here's what the parking looks like. And here's what some of the uh, outsides look like. A lot of air conditioners. This one's kind of not level. And when they're not level, they're not as efficient. So what you see in orange right here, this is all Orange County. And Rancho Santa Margarita is in the southern part of, of Orange County. And these are all the neighborhoods of Rancho Santa Margarita that make up the city. And we're going to zoom in. And this is uh, Lago Santa Margarita. A lot of great fun things to do there. And right here in blue, this is Bell Flora. So what's great about this neighborhood is the proximity to so many great things. Like there's a path that goes right up from Monte Vista Park right over here. Goes right up between the developments right up to the lake. This is the beach club. Lago Santa Margarita Beach Club, which all members of Sam Lark are members of. So that's where it's located in the neighborhood. Now, if you're wondering, this fantastic map that shows you the relationship of all the different neighborhoods and details on every neighborhood in the city of Rancho Santa Margarita is available to you for free. All you need to do is go to grantlowell.com, click on neighborhood maps, and you'll see it. It's right up there, number 22. I can see it on the railing, very well marked. You got covered parking. And then underneath the covered parking, you have garages, shared garages. And it's nice because this particular unit is away from Santa Margarita Parkway. It generates all the noise. So, and pollution. I guess you consider noise pollution its own type of pollution. So we're going upstairs here. So here's all the comparable sales that took place in the last six months. And as you can see, the one that we're in right now, 22 Leonardo is for sale for 620,000. And it's uh, 1,049 square feet. Now, price per square foot is not the highest in the last six months. There was a sale on Castano um, for the exact same price, exact same square footage. Now, when we're looking at comparables, that would be a model match and a great comparable. Now, let's go look at the pictures of that one on Castano and see how it compares to the one we're in right now. So, uh, exact same square footage. They've had their door painted, the uh, balconies pretty much the same size. And then here's all the photos of the inside. So the flooring, I think I would have to say this laminate flooring is nicer 
than the uh, um, tile. And then you've got the kitchen, again, original cabinets, original countertops. The appliances um, are nicer, I would say, especially considering there's no refrigerator. And it just seems like there's a paint job that's been done. Um, you don't have that stupid step thing over there. Kitchen, you know, it's clean. Not quite as nice because of the countertops, but pretty similar. There are closet doors here in the uh, hall bedroom. And bathroom, all original. Master bath, also all original. With the fiberglass enclosures. And then here's some pictures of the lake that's close by. I would have got uh, a photo of Monte Vista Park. But also, let's take a look at the HOA fees. Just so, the, you know, this community, they're all pretty much the same. But they're $440 a month for this particular neighborhood. And then Sam Lark, Santa Margarita Landscape and Recreation Corporation, it's $81 a month. So uh, it's pretty typical. You know, 440 is a little bit higher than normal but not outrageous, and 81 is um, for all of Sam Lark. So I have a little bit of a view here. So very low maintenance here. Not a lot to uh, take care of. It's on the second floor, so auto light comes in. Windows are original, but very large. Here's you got the uh, HVAC unit. Looks like it's original. Uh, those typically last 15 to 25 years. And that one is got to be tested because it's probably last legs. So here we are. This is the inside this is the entry. Now this goes down to the garage, which is a super nice feature. You got an attached um, single car garage, direct access. Here's the kitchen. They put new countertops, but they kept the original cabinets, which is not a, not preferable, but you know, saves a lot of money. We've got nice quartz countertops, larger sink. Got vaulted ceilings, which makes it feel bigger than it actually is. I'm not sure what this is. You gotta step up and it's rounded. So this is very interesting. I could hear some of this garage door opening. You hear that? So, gotta deal with that. That looks like the original shag carpet before they put this tile in. I just had to go up there because, <laughs> I don't know, the step, weird. Here's the attic access. Now it's a two bedroom, two bath. Here's one of the bathrooms. You got the uh, fiberglass shower enclosure and original cabinets, original countertops, original mirror, original lights. So no upgrades there. Here's one of the, here's a bedroom. Pretty small, they took out the closet doors. Overlooks the same view where we came in. It has nice plantation shutters. So some upgrades here, but not many. Here's the master. Again, vaulted ceilings. The jacuzzi tubs slash shower. Not sure what this is. Maybe to hang your towel. I don't know what that is. Weird. Looks like it might be actually part of the plumbing. Got a nice walk-in closet. And that's it. So that's the whole place. Here's one of the nice open spaces. So a lot of grass area here between the units. These are definitely, I would say, considered premium. Here's the Belflora HOA documents within a glass case. Let's go check out the pool area, which is right over here. Area with tables. 
and then there's a spa right over here and then right on the outside there's a little park for the kids and it's got a slide and some little um, spring-loaded um, small toys so yeah nice place Go get a closer look. And they have a uh, nice barbecue area with a table and four barbecues. Next to the pool, or near the pool. And right outside the community, we've got these steps. And we got Monte Vista Park. Part of some like they're resurfacing the uh, basketball court right now. So, and then Sam Lark maintains this park. And it's got uh, slides for the kids, no swings. Which of course, you know, I like the best, but uh, there's also two tennis courts, which they're also resurfacing, and a community pool with uh, lanes to swim laps. So, quite a bit of facilities here, and it's all included with your Sam Lark, which stands for. Uh, Santa Margarita Landscape and Recreation Corporation. We've got little barbecue areas, benches. Each uh, table and bench has its own little barbecue. And then the good Sam Lark did. They they put their name right on there on the uh, jungle gym. Another huge benefit of Belflora is being close to that. So we're gonna go back in to Belflora using the steps right here. It looks like they've, they, uh, oh, good morning. They wisely put the, uh, well, rivets here on the rail, so skateboarders can't can't get on there. So it eliminates that possibility. Nice trash can. So we're back in to Belflora. So a lot of the community notices, uh, you know, can't get into the glass area. So what residents do? is they just post them right on the side of the mailbox. So here's the bank of mailboxes right here. And here's one of the notices. So this is what someone's selling some handmade baked items. Little advertisement there. So a lot of mailboxes. Lots of covered parking. Lots of garages, detached and attached. So makes for the many different configurations of condos available here in Belflora. Now right now. There's only one for sale, and uh, you saw it, so. Now, one thing you're not gonna be able to do is learn all about Orange County by watching this one video. So, what I'm gonna need you to do is watch this one right here on the screen. So, just click right there and uh, watch another one, learn even more about Orange County. Thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy this video.